Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today we're going to do an acrylic pour on a vase. And I have been recording my next workshop, which is coming very, very soon. So I have this beautiful lighting and setup right now. So I thought I would take an advantage and uh, do a video for you guys. We're gonna do an acrylic pour on a vase. There is already some paint on the canvas because I accidentally knocked my bowl over <laughs> and spilled some of it. But um, there's no prep done to the vase other than uh, cleaning it with alcohol so there's no dust and debris. It's sitting on top of a cup so that I can move it off of the canvas easily. And this is a 10 by 10 canvas underneath here. So in my lowly buffet bowl here, I have about six ounces of paint. And this is white from Artist Loft plus a bunch of metallics from Arteza and I'm using a new color which is um, a metallic slate gray and I think it's looking gorgeous with the blues and the gold so it's a metallic blue from Arteza it's iridescent fairy tale blue from Arteza and then that metallic slate gray plus the gold Everything is mixed with flow trawl and water. And look how gorgeous that is already. So at this stage, I let this drip down for generally at least about two minutes. And at that point, you'll see that it'll start to slow down on the drips. So then we'll come back and move the vase off and do our canvas. All right, so it's slowed down on dripping now. So I'm gonna pick it up by the cup. Don't worry too much if your uh, fingers touch the bottom or the lip of the vase because it's gonna keep dripping for another few hours. So even if you did get some fingerprints on there, it won't really matter. I'm just gonna set this off to the side and then we're gonna go ahead and do our canvas. And besides the fact that you're getting a really cool two-in-one project out of this, one of the things I love about this is the pattern that this creates on the canvas. And this is a little interesting because we already had some wet paint over here. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and stretch it out. I probably could have used even a little bit more paint on here so I didn't have to stretch quite as much. But I can tell already we're still getting a pretty cool design. It kind of gives you this feathered kind of peacock look. Almost there. Okay, good. So it was... Uh, the paint that was on this corner actually kind of slowed it down a little bit, which is kind of interesting. I'm still quite happy with how it looks there. I'm just going to hit my signs. And then we'll do a close-up. Okay. So let's do a close-up on the canvas first. Um, so this corner is definitely not as pretty as I would want. Because that's where that kind of half wet already sort of partially dry paint was but I love it and I think once it's dry that will just blend in perfectly with it and very much happy with this color combination now the vase I'll just slowly rotate here so we can see all the signs so this vase will be dry within probably by the end of today to be perfectly honest but then still give it some more time before sealing it. And I seal my vases with resin. That makes them really durable. It makes it so they can be washed. Um, and it's just, that that's what I do. <laughs> so you can check down in the description. I'll put a link for a video there on how to seal 
the vases. The canvases I generally seal with Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear Enamel Spray. I also just did a video on that. So I will put that in the description as well. One more really quick note is I don't use silicone. You don't want to use silicone on anything that you're going to put resin on and I don't recommend it on anything with glass. But if you do use silicone, just make sure that you fully clean it. You can clean it with um, alcohol or soap and water once your paint is fully, fully cured. And then you can go ahead and seal it. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.